Welcome to Modern Salon TV, I'm Kat Penfold. And I'm Trevor Deneen. Twice a month we'll bring you Modern's best inspiration, education and collaboration direct to your computer, phone or video screen. Here's what's coming up. Modern editors go on the show floor at the International Salon and Spa Expo in Long Beach, California. Awards season is in full swing. We've got the scoop from beauty pros on what red carpet looks worked and what didn't. And Tabitha Coffee from Bravo's Tabitha Salon Takeover gets down to business. This episode of Modern Salon TV is proudly brought to you by Joico, the art of healthy hair and Vero K-Pak color. And now with Modern Reports, here's senior editor Allison Shipley. So here we are at the International Salon and Spa Expo in Long Beach, California. If you were able to make it out to the show, you know that there's tons of people to see, the best educators to learn from, the best products to buy and peruse. But if you weren't able to make it out, don't worry, we'll get you caught right up to speed. Experience the ultimate in healthy, luminous, longer-lasting color and unleash your artistic potential with Vero K-Pak Color, the first and only hair color system to feature quadrumming complex. Vero K-Pak Color System, colored by your imagination, conditioned by K-Pak. In this installment of Beauty Buzz, modern editors are at the Legends and Icons Gala, where industry icons were honored in Long Beach. great pride that I honor with the rest of the organization and the industry and everybody in the Redken family and Mincy. Our icon, Robert Crummings. Robert? Ladies and gentlemen, Sonia and Christopher Dove. And tell us how you feel about this, what, what this means to you. What I've truly done all my life is simply loved hairdressers and nail techs and massage therapists and estheticians. Uh, one of my friends that's being nominated tonight uh, once said to me, Robert, I can't believe at your level you still work the pit. <laughs> I, I said, that's where I want to be and I do it around the world and uh, it works the same in any language. Is there anything, any special message you want to give as far as education is concerned? Always stay open to having suggestions. Even though the way you do things works, it doesn't mean that another way couldn't kind of just slightly freshen it up and make it feel new for you. So you get excited and keep yourself motivated. Recently, Modern was the first to break the news about color guru Beth Minardi joining Joico. I'm really excited and honored and thrilled to be part of the wonderful Joico family. Um, I haven't worked for a manufacturer for almost 11 years. And um, part of the reason was I didn't think I saw a color product that I felt so passionately about. Um, the quality, the product, the performance, the conditioning qualities of the K-Pak color really sang to me, they appealed to me. And um, Sarah and the wonderful staff at Joico spoke to me for a long time about things we could do together, things we could accomplish. And um, they really portrayed to me a real interest in professional colorists, a really deep interest in the profession and in helping colorists to achieve their dreams. It's award season, which for beauty industry equals hair season. Well, what I liked about it was that it was so clean. Um, I know that messy hair is sometimes fun and popular, but I really always like to see a really clean style. And I thought she just looked amazing. What I loved about Emily Blunt was that classic look, and she has a center part, very soft ways, very loose spirals, and it's very tough. So it's basically a carefree, no must, no fuss hairstyle. That was almost a reminiscent and an updated twist on more of a, a 80s, where it kind of came around to the side, but yet it was disheveled, but yet placed. And now for a special spotlight segment brought to you exclusively by Keratin Complex. Get straight, get smooth, get sexy. 
Hi, we're here with Michael Schuster, Director of Education for Keratin Complex. Michael, tell us what Salon Professionals needs to know. We have produced the newest genre, something the industry has been yearning for for years now. So before, all you could do was pretty much cut, change the color of hair, permanently straighten, break the bonds, or either perm the hair with, with you know, the curling solution. Now Keratin Complex has developed a genre to offer to your clients. It's not going to interfere or replace any of those services. So we've, we've now developed a smoothing service that only takes two to two and a half hours, and it can produce you anywhere from $350 to $500 per service. So I'm here with Lindsay Solomon, Director of Marketing for Keratin Complex. There are so many Keratin products out on the marketplace, but Keratin Complex stands out. Why? Well, Keratin Complex really expand this year. We've expanded upon our appliance and tool line. We utilize the highest quality of keratin. We have over 42% of natural keratin in our product. It is the second ingredient next to water. The treatment lasts up to three to five months, and the natural process is that it washes out. It does not grow out like a typical Japanese straightener. We're not changing the bonds of the hair. We're simply infusing a natural keratin into the hair shaft, leaving the hair shiny, beautiful, and luxurious. I invite everyone that's interested in the Keratin Complex to go to our website. It's www.keratincomplex.com. There's a ton of information on where to find the product, what distributor to go to, and we, we're so passionate about educators that we make sure that the certification is going on monthly at every location in the United States. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. Modern senior editor Allison Shipley has gone back to school. Beauty school, that is. Last fall, Allison enrolled in Pivot Point International. She covers beauty professionals by day, and by night, she's becoming one. Hey guys, it's Allison Shipley. I'm here at Pivot Point International, just wrapping up my 10th week of beauty school. In long hair design, we've learned how to do overlaps, twists, wraps, and loops, along with all the braiding techniques, including French, fishtail, five strand, and basket weave. Here, we were given the task of creating our own updo, where we had to use at least two techniques that we've learned so far. This is mine. I'm the first to admit she's a little too out there, but it was definitely fun to do. Here's my entry for the bridal updo competition that the other classes judged. Six people in the class got votes, but it was no surprise that Ronnie won. Hers was so beautiful. So this is my classroom, and this is my class. Hi! Next week we start chemicals, so tune in next time or follow our progress on my blog at ModernSalon.com. Modern Salon recently caught up with Tabitha Coffey, who hosts Bravo's Tabitha's Salon Takeover. Let's take a look. This segment of Business Builders is proudly brought to you by Salon Transcripts and STX Software, the art of salon and spa management. What would you say the biggest mistake you're seeing owners make? I think a lot of owners really just aren't kind of knowledgeable about what their numbers need to be. I think that people don't set up a really good business plan, don't set up good rules and procedures for their businesses, don't set up a good P&L sheet. They really don't know the ins and outs of their business. They open a salon because they're hairdressers and they're good hairdressers, but they don't look at the business side and the money that they need to sustain their business. How do you find the salons that you're working with on the show? Um, the salons for the show come to me from various channels. It's either from bravotv.com when we do casting. A lot of them reach out to me personally through my Facebook or Twitter and give me the information about the salon. And obviously the criteria is that they need to be in trouble. There needs to right. be a legitimate problem that I can go in and try and help them with. This has been a tough year for a lot of people mm -hmm. the last two years. What do you think has been the most important thing to see us through the economy and get back on track? I think it's really facing the obstacles of the economy with a creativity. And I think the thing that's really hard for a lot of hairdressers is hairdressers make the excuse we're not great salespeople and they don't know how to sell themselves well and they don't know how to market themselves. And for me it's about making sure that you keep up great customer service, great work, Make sure that you go out there and promote yourself and your salon as much as you possibly can because you are your best advocate. Thanks for tuning in. We'll leave you with a note from Modern's Editor-in-Chief, Laurel Nelson. And don't forget to pre-book your next appointment with Modern Salon TV. See you in two weeks. We hope you enjoyed this first episode of Modern Salon TV. We'll leave you with a message from a few of our industry friends and we'll see you next episode. I'm Fatima and I'm watching Modern Salon TV and you should too. Hi, I'm Nick Arojo and I'm watching Modern Salon TV. Come with me, I'm going to watch Modern Salon TV.